What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so let's start off this episode with a little postcom right here. So, off screen, I've been doing a little, little thinking, guys. I like to stay ahead of the curve with everything that I do here in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. As you guys can see, I am evolving certain Pokemon uh, off screen and all that stuff. Now, right around where I'm at, which would be finishing up the Pokemon Tower after getting the self scope, those who really care about capturing Pokemon should at least have 30 Pokemon stored in their PC or registered in their Pokedex. So, with that being said, from there, I kind of figured that, you know what, let's go ahead and evolve the Pokemon that are easiest to evolve, such as, you know, the Wurmples, uh, the, not the Wurmples, the Weedles and the Caterpies of the world, including Nidoran male and female. And as you guys can see, I actually had an extra uh, Moonstone ready for, for evolution right here. So this gave me a two for one, kind of like a two for one deal right here. Uh, all of this is for me to try and get my Pokedex up to uh, at least 50 Pokemon registered. Now, I could pr I could have probably traded Pokemon by now. That's probably what it, what it is. I could have done I could have done the in-game trades by now, but I kind of want to save that for the following episode. So I checked into my Pokedex and I checked in into my uh, my PC and I've had quite a few Pokemon that I can easily evolve. Now I went through certain areas into all of Kanto and used the VS Seeker to evolve these Pokemon. So within this episode, including the next few ones, you're going to be seeing some of my Pokemon. You know, a little. Oh, they're, they're going to be, uh, they're, they're, their levels are going to be boosted up and all that stuff. All because we've been evolving our Pokemon, such as Hurricane, Thrasher, the Caterpie and Weedle lines and all that stuff. Hell, we even went through uh, evolutionary stones, such as the Moonstone, Leafstone, and I do believe a Thunderstone, too. Yes, we caught ourselves a, we caught ourselves another Pikachu, because many of you guys already know I've never evolved Sparky or Aaliyah. So I might as well just evolve a separate Pikachu. As you guys can see, bam, there's Oddish. It's evolving. Yes, I know, I know. It still has many, many moves to learn after, you know, after get, getting exposed by a Leaf Stone, Fire Stone, Thunder Stone, and all that stuff. But for me, it's more about boosting up that Pokedex because eventually, later on into this episode, we're going to be running into a few of the Professor's aides, and they need... For me to come out with at least 30 to 30 to 50 Pokemon to get some really rare items and one of those items we do need for the training of the Pokemon as you guys can see right here yeah Pikachu the regular Pikachu is evolving to Raichu and and seriously like you know we could have just used a Raichu on our team but I kind of figured maybe maybe it's best for us to use a Jolteon and all that stuff so here we are with another evolution Going in with Leafstone again, yes, I already know. You can learn different moves, but it's not like I'm not gonna use it. Now, reflecting back on all of this, guys, doing all this uh, this work, yes, we are gonna be using a lot of Pokemon. I am telling you this right now. We're gonna have so many Pokemon registered onto our team before we get to the Elite Four. It's gonna be dumb, and then we're gonna have a lot of team team members. I just don't know which which Pokemon we're going to be using, and as you guys can see, I did spend quite a few monies just to get this Dratini right here. So yes, we got ourselves a Dratini. I, I kind of want to use it on our team. So let's fast forward to the actual live com right about now. Okay guys, so we did a lot of work, and something new is happening right here because I kind of want to try something out. Uh, going down to the... going down to Fuchsia City, I should say. And that is, I want to try two new Pokemon out. As many of you guys already know, I've always had a, a Ghastly slash Haunter, and then, you know, in Pokemon Crystal, I've always had, uh, I've always had a Gengar called Smoke. Never really used it. Kind of want to evolve it, try it out, and then be one of the Pokemon that, you know, I actually physically trade to myself to evolve it and all that stuff. And yes, that Cubone that we just got, Bones. Look at this guy. Or girl. 
It is a ground type Pokemon. I've always been curious about this pun, this one Pokemon right here. Mainly because, well, you know, from the anime and on, it looked like a pretty cool Pokemon. Plus, it can learn fighting type moves and all that stuff. And I kind of want to evolve it as well. As you guys can see, it does have the rock head ability, meaning that if we use takedown with it, yes. No recoil damage. That is awesome. And we did teach it Brick Break just in case, you know, we, we go through this whole thing. So, yeah, in this episode right here, guys, we are going to be trying to capture one of the two, uh, one of the two Snorlaxes. And we're going to be going down, let's see, let's go ahead and be specific. That way you guys don't get all my case about this. But in this one, we're going to be going down here. We're going to go Route 12 all, <laughs> and I mean all the way down to Route 15. Mainly because there are a lot of things that you can find along the way right here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can actually find. And thankfully, because of all the training that we've done, all the stuff that we, you know, we've accomplished, we got 55 Pokemon total, meaning there are two items that we can actually grab right now. And uh, we are five Pokemon away from... Yeah, we're five Pokemon away from uh, actually completing another uh, milestone right here. It will be later on. Now, if you go in here, if you talk to this girl, she's like, My Pokemon's ashes are stored in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. We grabbed ourselves a TM27. This one's called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return the love by working harder, or it's hardest in battle. It is a very good move for a very physical Pokemon if you have that. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. It's the Pokemon shout a tower. And let's see. We are looking at this one, and the man is fishing. There are a lot of people fishing and all that stuff. Okay, so let us move on right here. So another thing, too, that I did off screen was... What was it that I did? Oh, yeah, I fixed up my PC for specific teams and all that stuff. I, you know, I've been saying this quite often that, you know, hey, we're going to be using a lot of Pokemon in here. And I kind of want to, I kind of want to, you know, try out some of the new ones. That way, you know, we go into this whole, you know, this whole walkthrough with a little bit of variety. And I believe in Pokemon Red, or no, Pokemon Fire Red and uh, Leaf Green. These are the two games that you can actually, you can actually battle these Pokemon. You can actually train them up to a proper level thanks to the VS Seeker. And it actually, you know, it, you know, it, it the grind is a little bit easier here than what it was in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And again, yes, I'm going to show you guys where to actually find this, uh, find the grind spots and all that stuff. And there we go, Shockwave for Shocker. And, uh, well, let's see. I will be speeding it up just a little bit just to train up my Pokemon right here. He's coming out with the Poliwag. So let's go with the Smoke right here. And, well, we can go with Nightshade. And Nightshade again, we'll take 22 points, mainly because of its, you know, leveling up and all that stuff. So let's go straight to Bones right here. And tra train right here with Shocker. Shockwave for the win, and Bones grows to level 22, and everybody is happy. Just a small fry, a little bit of fry. Okay, so moving on. We can't swim, so it is what it is, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of cross training right here, and be patient. Fishing is a, the fishing is a waiting game. This is true. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Fisherman Chip, coming out with coming out with his usual Pokemon Tentacool. Let's go with a Shocker right here, Shock Wave, and coming out with a Goldeen. Let's go with Smoke and see if we can actually beat this Pokemon with a uh, Nightshade right here. And of course, we're gonna get Supersonic. This is not a good look on us so we're gonna use a super potion right here and there we go just in case and water sport let's go there we go and just like that smoke is winning by itself it grows to level 21 there we go and it's trying to lose confuse ray okay or use it yeah okay so let's see you know what let's go ahead and take away spite never been a big proponent about taking people's P pp it usually ends up in a, it usually ends up biting me in the butt. So there we go. We defeated this guy, and we are moving on right here. We're gonna be seeing some evolutions. Here comes another fisherman. And he's like the fishing fool versus the Pokemon kid. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a pretty good reference right there. Fishing fool. All right, so here we go. Taking on Hank. 
It's a good name right there, Hank. And we're going with Bones right here. And well, let's see. Again, we're going to be using a lot of uh, different Pokemon right here. And we have defeated Hank. Yes, touch too much. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. Wow, we're, we're, we're really hitting all these fishermen. He's like, I love fishing, don't get me wrong. But I'd be the best if I also had more work. Hmm, he would. Unfortunately, I'm about to take more of his money right here. So here we go, taking on Elliot. Coming out with four Pokemon. Let's go ahead and try it. If you guys remember, this Pokemon is weak to water type Pokemon. And so far, we're getting our butts kicked. So let's go with Tornado right here. Now, if I mention this in the, the postcom, the postcom at the beginning of this episode, yes, I have been training the majority of my Pokemon that, you know, we're using in this in this walkthrough so far. So Pokemon such as, you know, uh, what was it called? Uh, Pokemon such as uh, Shocky? No, 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 no. Sparky, yeah. <laughs> Completely forgot his nickname right there. Pokemon such as Sparky and all the other Pokemon, they've gone up to level 30 as well. That way, you know, we keep up with all these Pokemon right here. And, well, again, we're getting confused by the same Pokemon. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and go with Bones right here. Coming out with a horsey. Eventually, I'm going to capture myself a horsey and evolve it right here. Yes, there we go. And we have defeated. We have defeated this guy right here. Okay, so moving on forward right here. I think I do have a. Let's see. Do I have an Awake Me? Yes, I do. Okay, I have six of these things. And let's go right ahead and speed it up just a little bit. Super Potion. There we go. I think this calls for a very, very good uh, situation right here, guys, because the more Pokemon we use, the more variety of teams that we get going into, you know, the Pokemon League, both rounds one and two. And like I said, I will show you guys these specific spots, where to train with the VS Seeker, especially with the Experience Share. And this is, well, yeah, this is the reason, too, why I've decided to grind my Pokemon. That way, you know, we multiply the amount of Pokemon we have on our PC. Is because, yes, we need to, yeah, we need to fulfill some uh, some chores for uh, Professor Oak right here with in regards to the P the Pokedex right here. So, kind of sucks. And there we go, Nidoran Female has been defeated. Eventually, if you guys take on these guys again, they will evolve their Pokemon. So, there we go. Okay, so here we are, right in front of the first Snorlax that is blocking our way. I'm going to prepare for a little something something right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we are back and we switched out two Pokemon on our team in order for in order for us to take on this Snorlax right here. So here we go, we're playing the Poke Flute, and this Pokemon has just woken up and it has it attacked in a grumpy rage. So here we go. Taking on one of the two Snorlaxes right here. Look at this one. It's a big old friggin' Snorlax right here. And here we switched out for Sparky, mainly because we kind of want to paralyze this Pokemon. That way, you know, it doesn't do anything too dumb right now. As you guys can see, Snorlax loves to use Yawn in order to put you guys to sleep. What's going to happen next is I'm going to put, put out Smasher right here. And if you guys haven't noticed, yes, I've also trained up Snor uh, Smasher for quite a bit. And thankfully, Snorlax's HP has gone up for... It's been up for quite some time. So I'm going to try and lower this guy's defense right here. Or not defense, but lower his HP. Put it, uh, make it flinch a little bit. Thankfully, you know, the rock slide attack actually working. And here comes a headbutt attack. And here we go again. And here comes a yawn attack. So, we're going to try and throw a Great Ball at this Pokemon right here because, you know, if we move again, Smasher's going to fall asleep and, uh, yeah, that's going to be something else. And, well, this Snorlax has used yawn and because of that, Smasher has fallen asleep. So, let's go right ahead and use another Great Ball. Hopefully, this one will actually work. Come on, Snorlax, you know you want to be on our team. There's two. And no, this Pokemon is still going wild right here. Now, it can use rest to actually heal up its HP plus its status, so just be aware of that, guys. And, well, let's see. One, two, three, and throwing out that peace sign, guys. That's right, throwing out that peace sign. 
Okay, so we cut ourselves a Snorlax. This Pokemon right here is the sleeping Pokemon. 611. 1014 pounds of pure, unadulterated gluttony. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it when it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Holy crud. So as many of you guys already know, we already got a nickname for this Pokemon. We bequeath this name to this Pokemon right here. We bequeath you the name Tank. I'll be right back, guys. After switching out a few of our Pokemon. Okay, so, so we're back right here, guys. And the first things first, let's go back into the lookout right here because I believe we didn't grab uh, an item due to the Pokedex entries that we didn't have. Now, if you go in here, there is a Professor Aid or an aide of the Professor, and he's like, Hi, remember me? I'm one of the Professor Oaks aides. If your Pokemon or Pokedex has completed data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a rig reward. Professor Oak has entrusted me with a with an item finder for you. So, Draven, let me ask you: Have you gathered the data on at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. This is the reason why we we started this whole thing, and we have 56 kinds of Pokemon. So, let's see. There are items on the ground that may be hidden from view. Use the item finder to detect any hidden items close to you. The machine is a bit limited; it can't pinpoint items' location. What it does, or what it does, is it shows the direction where the item is. Use it to get your bearings, or use it to get your bearings. Then search the suspect area by hand, which is kind of lame. It is kind of lame and all that stuff. That you know, we have to literally look for it when it pinpoints everything and all that crud. So that's one thing right there, guys. Of the many items that we can get, round number two is right here. And if you go into this house, talk to this guy. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear without to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Bam, we get ourselves the super rod, which of course grabs some of so much uh, so much uh, of the more rare Pokemon around here. From the seas and rivers, go out and land the land the big one, my friend. Now I have a request. If you catch a big Magikarp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic Magikarp. Giggity. Okay, so... I'll be right back with you guys. I've got to grab a specific Pokemon for these next few things that we need to do here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back outside, and yes, we're going to be battling some Pokemon trainers. We did pick up a Pokemon with the cut technique because there are some areas right here where we can actually grab an item here and there. We don't really need cut for that much. We're just going to we're just going to do it for this one little little situation right here. And as many of you guys already know, we're going to speed it up a little. Yes, battling everybody. Shocker grows to level 31, and it's time to get Big Booty Buckus in the show right here. Because we need a level up to 31 right here. As many of you guys already know, Buck is at level 31, learns Flame Wheel. A very good move. And, well, let's see. Hmm. You gotta have Paralysis heals because, well, you know, I am the king of paral uh, para Paralysis. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna be battling a whole bunch of trainers. And, you know, we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here, so Shocker. And Buckus as well. All right, so we picked up Paris. Put Blastoise. Put put Blastoise. Can't even say these things right. Um, put Blastoise away for just this one little part right here because we do intend to grab this little item right here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna be switching it up. Let's go with Buckus and let's go right ahead. I'm searching for a Moonstone. Have you found one? Yes, I have. I found plenty. And I remember that I had one more Moonstone right here, in which I could have evolved uh, either my Clefairy or my 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 Jigglypuff. But I was thinking uh, I was thinking uh, far ahead with like you know with our with our good old buddy uh, what's his name uh, yeah Thrasher. And well, there we go. We have one. And yes, Poison has been the bane of our existence mainly because you know. We've been taking on all many trainers with that, and well, we only got one, so we're gonna give it to the guy who's about to die here. So there's Budkiss, healing up, grabbing this item, and here we have an iron. So I'll be right back with you guys, with, uh, you know, again, with another Pokemon. Alrighty guys, so we got Leonardo back, and 
we're gonna continue on our little adventure right here and we got to go back to focusing on our our usual Pokemon right here smoke and uh, bones what's catching you never know you never know what you can do or what you can catch yeah okay so let's go right ahead and take on a fisherman Andrew and he's coming out with a magic arm so I'm just gonna go ahead and use nightshade there we go smoke gaining a little you know experience points so we're gonna be switching it up right here to bones and bones is looking pretty legit right here so let's go with the bone club and just like that we win again that's right okay alrighty so here we have another tree right there you can actually find some interesting Pokemon that you probably could find uh, you know at route 14 15 near Fuchsia City and all that stuff so that's the reason why we didn't need any of that, you know, that cut technique. And here we have a lady, she's like, I found a Carbos in a cave once while I, while I was spelunking. I wonder what spelunking means, but who knows. Here we have Picnicker Alma, and she's coming out with her usual Goldeen. And now the, the Pokemon are getting a little stronger right here, so let's go right ahead and go with Shocker. Shockwave, looking at. And coming out with a Poliwag, let's go with Bones. Now, let's see. Obviously, I nicknamed Cubone after Bones because, well, you know the bone that it has. But I like to think I like to think that I would nick I like to nickname this Pokemon after a cartoon that I watched as a kid. I can't find it anywhere, which is kind of, which it's just a shame. It's just a shame that you can't find it no more. But it's called the Mutant League. If you guys know what the Mutant League is all about, it's all about sports with mutants and all that stuff. It's pretty fun. Very very fun stuff back in the 90s and all that stuff. Don't know where where to find that ep or don't know where to find that show anymore. But if you guys have any links to it or you know DVDs, be cool. Come on, share, share. Well, I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> so here we go, taking on Bug or Bird Keeper Sebastian, and I'm coming out with Smoke. Obviously, nobody's gonna be doing any damage right there except for you know Pidgey. And there we go. And we're going to be coming out with a Pidgeotto, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Big Booty Bud Kiss right here. And let's go with a Dig Attack. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I wasn't really watching it, but here comes a Shockwave after a Whirlwind. And everybody gains points. Yes. My Pidgey and Pidgeotto combo lost. Yes, they did. And the amount of money that I earned, guys, by just beating everybody. I'm told I'm good for a kid. That's what everybody says. Okay, here we go. Picnicker Susie, and we're gonna be doing this again. Hmm. Let's go with Shocker. And this Pokemon made a mistake by using Whirlwind, and here comes a Pidgeotto. Or a Pikachu, so let's go with Bones Justice right here. Named it after Bones Justice, the main character of the Mutant League. And thankfully, Bone Club won, and you know what? Let's go with Brick Break. I kinda feel like Bones can hold its own right here, and crap baskets. Okay. There we go. Brick Break does its thing. And you know what? We're just going to continue on right here. Bones Justice. There we go. Not giving this Pokemon nothing. And it grows to level 24. This Pokemon is kicking butt. You know what? Let's do it. Look at this. I really like the design right here for uh, Cubone. Looks like it's about to play baseball or something. And wow, it takes a good hit. So here comes Brick Break. And Meowth has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And Susie has been defeated too. Okay. And well, let's see. We are going into our usual favorite spot, as always. Yes. And like I said, guys, we're starting with this area first, mainly because going to Fuchsia City from Route 11 all the way to 14, it actually you actually get more stuff uh, coming down. So that's you know that's probably what we're gonna be doing right here. And you know what, let's go ahead and give that to Budkiss. And speaking of Budkiss, I think we need to do something about that. So let's go straight to Budkiss. Now Budkiss has been a difficult Pokemon to actually train. Sure, I'll come play with you, sweetie. Mainly because, well, you know, it's only fire attack is Ember, and it's not really that great, so, you know, gotta put a little effort into it, and yet we're playing against a poison-type Pokemon right here, so... That's that's usually a big thing right there for me. And well, look at this. Taking on another Pikachu. Let's go right ahead and use Dig. And yes, we're paralyzed yet again. We're not ending this whole thing. We're gonna go to level 31 right here. 
Let's go with an Ember attack. And there we go. Level 31. Finally, okay. So after growing to level 31, Budkiss or Growlithe, it's learning uh, Flame Wheel. This is a much more powerful move. So what we're gonna do, yeah, it has a little bit more firepower to it, pun intended and all that stuff. We're gonna teach it, and bam, Flame Wheel for the win. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, she calls me a little beast. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so after doing that, I have decided to enter my name into the transfer portal. I'm just playing. Uh, so after that, after learning Flame Wheel, I am not going to wait until level 49 to te to te or to have this Pokemon learn uh, Flamethrower. So what I decided to do is I'm actually going to buy the TM35 over at the game corner once the time comes. And we're going to use the Firestone right here to evolve Budkiss finally into a freaking Arcanine. Oh yes. Oh yeah, our firepower has gotten maximum right here. Look at this. Now, some of you guys are like, why would you do that? It's still got so, more, so many more moves to learn. I'm like, nope. Kind of want to do it now. Again, if you're playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can buy the flamethrower technique over at the game corner, so it's not a big loss. Plus, Arcanine can learn a lot more new, new moves. I think there's a move teacher where you can actually learn it, teach it at extreme speed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but here we have... Big Booty Butkiss now as an Arcanine. Does have a gentle nature right there. And, well, as you guys can see, still has the ability Intimidate. And its attack, its physical attack has gone up way, way high right there. Its physical defense is not that great, but guess what? Flame Wheel, it is considered a physical attack. So we're going to have an easier time right here. And I'm kind of hoping to actually evolve multiple Pokemon in this episode. So let's go right ahead and battle. Do you want me to battle, or do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? Sure. Let's get it. Here we go. Beauty, Sheila, and she's coming out with a Clefairy. So let's go right ahead and go with a takedown attack. And Flame Wheel for the win. There we go. She's coming out with a Meowth. So let's go with Bones Justice right here. Let's go Brick Break. Brick Break again. And look at that. Bones is getting some levels. Taking on some Pokemon that can actually defeat. Alrighty, so let's see. Yes, the, the name of the game is to evolve both smoke and bones by the end of this episode. And here we have... Wow, your badges are too cool! Yes. Kind of like too cool from the WWF. Alrighty. Picnicker Valley wants to take on us, and she is coming out with a... Poliwag. Okay, and here comes smoke. Yeah, I definitely don't want to take on this level 30 Pokemon just yet, so let's go with Shocker. Of course, we're going to go to sleep. And yeah, we're 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 asleep for <laughs> for a few turns right there. All right, switch training begins again. And Poliwags, yes. And believe it or not, guys, now that we got the now that we got the the super rod, we can actually find ourselves Poliwags around this area. Shoot, we're we're gonna be close to getting the good rod too. So let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. And well, let's see. Let's go straight to Shocker. Taking the brunt, and there we go. Taking on that. Let's go to Bones Justice. Bones Justice, Brick Break. Brick Break again. And she's coming out with a Pidgey. Let's go with Smoke. And switching out to Shocker right here. Now, some of, you, some of the new people coming into my channel, if you guys are wondering why I'm actually speeding it up right here, well, guess what, guys? This route, including the the cycling road very very long to get the fuchsia we kind of need to get there and i'm trying to find an item right here and look at that we found ourselves a pp up finally after a long time finally found the item right there and well let's see we've got two more people right there so let's go right ahead and switch out our pokemon actually you know what let's keep it the same let's go with bones and, uh, and smoke here we have i'm not going to lose not when the wind's blowing my way hmm the wind is blowing your way, and this is a bird keeper. His name is Perry. He's got himself five Pokemon, so this is actually a very, very good trainer for a Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and switch to Shocker. Shock Wave. There we go. Going back to Smoke. And you know what? Let's go with Butt Kids right here. Give it a. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even when it doesn't want to battle, it gets pulled in. Wow. All right, Bones or Smoke. Let's go with Butt Kids. Seriously? 
Come on. These, uh, this whirlwind attack is getting on my nerves. And smoke grows to level 23, which is very, very good because it's one level away from evolving, if I'm correct. And there we go, smoke again. And here comes the Spearow. Let's go. Let's go with Butt Kiss again. Flame Wheel for the win. And one more time, Smoke. Let's go with Tornado right here. And there we go. Tornado gets some levels. We defeated Perry. Yes, sir. Look at that. See, that's how we do some leveling up and getting some money right there, guys. And this guy turns around. He's like, what are you looking at? Eh, not much. I'm just saying. Alrighty, so here we are taking on Biker Jared. He's got himself a coughing. I got myself a smoke. This should be this should be a good battle, so let's confuse this guy. And we are not gonna be poisoned because, well, we are also a poison type Pokemon, and just like that, smoke gets a nice level or nice experience points right there, so do it again, be strategic with this Pokemon. No fear of uh, getting poisoned or anything and there we go we have defeated another coughing smoke grows to level 24 and well he's gonna be coming out with one more coughing let's go right ahead and give Leonardo a little bit of love as you guys can see Leonardo is at level 39 from all those battles that we did with you know all the other Pokemon that I tried to level up and oh I was incorrect uh, we need two more levels okay so yeah good old Draven needs to learn his Pokemon right here and we got two trainers there and one right there. Okay. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this individual yet again. Let's see. Smoke and bones. Bones and smoke right here. Let's go right ahead and do that. And I'm always I'm always go with the or I always go with bird Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. It yeah, kind of sounds like Mike Tyson right there, you know, kind of with like a, a pigeon collection. And here, he's coming out with four Pokemon, so let's go right ahead. Switch it out to Shockwave and Shocker. Oh yeah, Shocker, I should say. Shocker does have more experience points. And well, let's go Big Booty Butt Kiss, Flame Wheel, Shockwave. Man, you gotta, you gotta love these Pokemon who are using Whirlwind because you know they don't want to battle these specific Pokemon. Let's go right ahead. Tornado. I got a bird Pokemon myself. Fury attack for the win. And let's see. Smoke show. Yeah, let's confuse him. Oh my god, it has pursuit. Jesus criminy. Okay. Alright, let's go with the tank right here. Let's see. Um, revive. Yes, we had to use a lot of revives too. Just to revive a lot of Pokemon. Holy crud. And well, let's see. Water Pulse for the win, and we get some good experience points. Holy jeebus. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Speed them up, because, well, look at this. They've been doing some work right here. This is the reason why we're speeding up everything, guys, because this one route right here, whatever version you're playing, red, blue, yellow, leaf green, fire red, hell, even heart gold, soul silver, this route will be long as you know what. And uh, I kind of don't want to on repeating myself by going through the same route over and over and over and just you know you know battling everybody for like 50 minutes long and all that stuff you need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon you think Jesus okay so here we go taking on bird keeper Carter and he's coming out with his Pidgey so let's go right ahead and go with shocker and of course they take out big booty butt kiss right there and he's coming out with a Doe Duo. Let's go Smoke. And, well, let's go with Booty Buckus. And we get hit with a Pursuit. Are you serious? Yeah, we got hit with a Pursuit. Good gravy. Okay, so there we go. Smoke grows level 25. And here comes a Pidgeotto. So let's go with Bones. And let's go Headbutt Attack. Yeah, I got some moves there. Okay, you know what? Focus Energy. And, of course... <laughs> I didn't get to make the switch myself, but it worked out. Carter has been defeated. There are a lot of... And yeah, there are a lot of uh, bird-type trainers here, but look at this. We got ourselves another evolution. Smoke is finally growing up to a Haunter right here. And yes, we will be showing this Pokemon's next evolution now that we found the way to actually trade Pokemon and evolve them and all that crud. So there you have it, guys. 
Ghastly has evolved into Haunter right here. And it is trying to learn a better move, that is Shadow Punch. So let's go right ahead and take away... Let's see, you know what? I'm going to take away Lick because it really... Yeah, it is good for Paralysis, but this Pokemon's more for a putting them to sleep kind of Pokemon. And there you go. Got Shadow Punch, a very good move. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Haunter, right here. So as you guys can see, Haunter... The Ghost and po Poison-type Pokemon has a sassy nature, and it does have the, le the Levitate ability, not hit by ground attacks, and it is a very speedy Pokemon. It's more of a special attacker than a physical one, and its attacks right here, you know, pretty much say, say it for itself right there. So now that we got that evolution out of the way, let's go with Bones, because, yes, we're still trying to evolve everybody right here, and we got plenty of trainers to go. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Take it on Mitch, and he's going to be coming out with his Pidgey. So again, guys, the, the majority of these Pokemon, or the majority of these Pokemon trainers have at least, they have at least four to five Pokemon. It kind of gets annoying after a while, and this Pokemon is learning Bone Meringue. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. Bone Club. The bow is clubbed with a bone held in hand. It may flinch. This right here, the... Okay, the user throws a bone that hits the foe more once, then once again on return. Oh, wow. Okay, so Bone Club, Bone Meringue. Bone Club is less accurate. You know what? Let's go with a Bone Meringue. Seems a little fun. So there we go. We are teaching Bones Bone Meringue. And, well, everybody's getting levels. Spiro's coming out. Let's go right ahead and... Go with Bones again, and switch it out right here. Shocker again. Shocker's getting some experience points, and here he's coming out with a Pidgey. So, you know what, let's go with Bones. Earned his points right here, so let's go with the Headbutt, and of course, we're gonna get Whirlwind. So let's go with the Pursuit Attack right there, and, well, yeah, these Pokemon trainers like to use Whirlwind, and here comes Ephiro, so let's go with the big guns right here. Let's go, Water Pulse, one more time, and just like that, we have defeated Mitch, throwing out that peace sign, and I thought we were going to evolve something right there. So, let's see. Let me go heal up my Pokemon, guys, because I am kind of losing a little bit of PP on everything, and we got a grip load of Pokemon going into the next route right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and we switched out one Pokemon for this uh, little, you know, gauntlet right here. We switched out Leonardo for Sparky right here, because, well, look at this. Sparky does have a good move, Thunderbolt, and I kind of want to use it for this particular situation. That way we can evolve uh, Bones a little, and, well, here we go. Take another bird, a bird catcher or whatever his name is. They have TMs on sale at the Celadon department store. TMs are really rare, but not have, not many people have HMs. Oh yes, that is true. I think uh, I think I'm one of those guys that has an HM or two. And well, here we go. Take it on Beck. Rhymes with Peck. And we're gonna be switching out. Let's go with Sparky. And bam, Thunderbolt does it. And well, now that we got two Electric type Pokemon on our team, we are literally unstoppable. We got more backup power right here, and we have defeated back. Of course, the cheap move Pursuit gets us right there. Here we have another one. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? You'll be able to soar with into or with it into the sky. That is why we have Tornado with us, because we did teach it fly, and it's been doing a lot of flying as of lately. So here we go, taking on a Spearow. Here comes Bones. And you know what, Bones? Let's go with Headbutts. And of course we're going to get... Yeah, we're gonna get mauled by that Pokemon. I have gotta hate Spiro sometimes. Says the guy who has a Spiro on his goddamn team. And well, we have to be careful with this one because as as we saw early on, Dodo it has the ability of pursuit, and here comes a try attack. Let's go shocker. Of course we didn't get hit with the pursuit, and there we go. Bones grows to level 26. And here comes a Ethereal, and here we go. Let's get Sparky. Thunderbolt nearly beats this Pokemon. Say hello to level 31. And that's how we do it. Throwing out that piece out again. Okay. Okay, so I think we got like one more level to go to evolve our bones right here. But this guy's been going through been going through a gauntlet right here. And yes, here's another bug or bird catcher. 
This guy's got seeing about the bird mirages, and well, here we go. He's got one bird Pokemon, and he's coming out with a Farfetch right here. This Pokemon is a tricky one because it does it is more physical than the others. And Thunderbolt. There we go. For the win. And we win. Say goodbye, Donald. Okay. I hate you. Okay. So, wow. So many bird, uh, bird type Pokemon trainers right here. Let's talk to them. I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. God, I hate these bird type trainers. So here we go. Take it on bird catcher Benny. Coming with his Spiro and Boons again. Gonna be switch trainer right here. So let's go with a Shocker. Shockwave. There we go. And you know what? Let's go right ahead and just continue on and beating them with the just Shocker and, and then Sparky. And just like that, we have defeated another bird catcher. And well, this time is where Bones is gonna shine because we're gonna be taking on we ride out here because of wide open spaces. We're gonna be taking on some cyclist guys or motorcyclist guys and uh, or bikers, and they usually have some bo or some poison type Pokemon. Only problem is Pokemon like this coughing. They do have levitate, so yeah, we're gonna have to switch out. Let's go, big booty butt kiss, flame wheel. Of course, we're gonna get poisoned. And, well, he's coming out with a mug, so this can actually give us a chance. Let's go Bones. And here we go with a Bone Ring. That has failed. Bone Ring has failed. And just like that, we hit it twice. Now it's a little harder to actually hit since it does have Minimize. So there we go. Bone Ring has been disabled. Good gravy. God dang it, I hate this Pokemon. You know what? We're going to be stubborn. Who's gonna win? Who is going to win? Bones is gonna have to earn this one right here, and this evasiveness has gone up. All right, we are not. There we go. We have defeated Muck. There we go, Bones. You see? Remind remind yourself of the Team Rocket member that you know did that to your mama. And well, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. God, we're spending a fortune on antidote right here. And well, let's go ahead and take on the next one. Pokemon battle? Cool. Rumble. Hmm. Rumble. Okay, so here we go. Digging on Malik. And, of course, they're all going to have goddamn coughings right here. So let's, uh, let's see. We're going to be switching out. And, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with smoke right here. We won't get poisoned. But that shadow, that shadow punch is going to do something. And there we go. Bones grows to level 27. And, well, let's see. Let's go back to Bones right here. And hopefully this Bone Rang works. And yes, it does. Brick Break for the win. And that defeats Malik right there. Level 27 Bones. Oh my god, we still need more levels? Holy crud. Okay, here we go. I need to burn some time. Should have been battle. Okay. These people, I swear. Here we're taking on Isaac. And yes, he does have a Grimer. And yes, this is gonna be the Bone Rain show featuring Bones the Q Bone right here. And look at that. We have defeated Grimer. Oh yeah. We're getting experience points. This is where we need to train, guys. And we're gonna do it again. And just like that, we win again. And he's coming out with a coughing. So let's go with smoke. Now that it can't get poisoned. And there we go. And just like that, smoke gets a little bit more points. Completely forgot about Nightshade, where it actually equals the Pokemon trait or the opponent's level right there. And this guy. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Let's get it. Bring it. So here we go. Take it on Lucas. Four Pokemon and all. Yeah. What, you, what, what, what did you expect, Draven? He was going to come out with a coughing, so let's go straight for smoke again. Nightshade. 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 And there we go. And, well, let's see. Bones again, yes. We're trying to evolve all these Pokemon. And, well, let's go with Shocker. Shockwave doesn't miss. And there we go, 28. And level 33. So this is a, like, again, guys, this route right here alone is a very good spot to actually train up your your main team. And thankfully, that now that you have the VS Seeker, this will actually become a little bit... You guys can actually find ways of actually training your Pokemon without, you know without like cheating or anything like that and there we go 
Just like that, we have defeated this Pokemon with Bone Ring. Yes. Gotta love that bone. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a coughing. Let's go with Fero or Tornado. Fly attack. Of course, we're gonna get poisoned. And there we go. Tornado grows to level 31. There we go. And Lucas has been defeated. What now? What now? So here it is, guys. Bones is finally evolving. And it took us quite a bit, like, you know, eight levels. But this Pokemon has become very resilient. And I think... I think it does It does get the fighting capability. I could be wrong. If it doesn't, then, you know, it is what it is. It can still learn fighting type moves. But here it is, guys. We got ourselves a Marowak. And we're going to be taking a look at this Marowak right here. Bones. Marowak, the lonely nature. Isn't it the only nature that fits a, a Marowak? So as you guys can see, it doesn't get the fighting type capability, but it is pure ground. As you guys can see, it still has Rock Head. And I think its biggest thing is its, it's physical defense and special defense, but its attack... It does have some pretty good uh, physical attack right there, too, so... Yeah, we put in some work for these Pokemon right now. And, well, let's see. Yes, of course, we gotta heal up our Pokemon. As you guys can see, my team has been going through everything. So what we're gonna do right now, one last time, is we're gonna fly back to another town, heal up the Pokemon, grab an extra Pokemon, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back in just a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So, <laughs> you know, you know what would have been beneficial in Generation 3? The, you know, the one thing that they probably got right later on in Generation 8. That was uh, going straight to your team and pressing, I think, the, the X button or whatever button, it, the select button or something just to get Pokemon from your, from your uh, PC right where you're at. That would have been awesome. That way we wouldn't have been moving around or anything like that. That was actually something that I liked. And before we do anything, we have found a pinat barrier right there. And you know what, I'm going to check around right here, because we're there's a lot of grass. Of course, I'm ahead of the game right here, so let's see, there's nothing right there. Could be wrong, and uh, yeah. Okay, so we found everything, so now the next thing that we need to do is, before we battle that those individuals, let's go ahead and cut this right here with our Paris. And this will lead us into this area right here, down Route 15. Before you battle her, and them, you can grab and her <laughs> okay and look at that we managed to elude her we grabbed ourselves a TM 18 rain dance which is a very very good um, very good move for any kind of water boosting attacks or just to make your thunder attack a little bit more accurate so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be switching up our Pokemon and getting through these Pokemon right here what's cool and happening trading Pokemon that is true that is very very true but probably gonna be doing that in the next episode or so here we go! Digging on Celia. And she is coming with her Cliff Fair right here. And well, let's go with a fly attack. And Fury Attack right here. Yeah, these Pokemon like to use their strategy. You know, it's kind of like a precursor to the next gym right here. And well, we're gonna be going up against these two individuals. So let's go right ahead and use our two Pokemon that we're, you know, we were trying so desperately to evolve. My sister gets scared when we lose! Well, uh, prepare to be scared, okay. Here we have Crushkin, Ron and Mia. Crushkin, holy crud, and they both have a Hitmonchan and a Hitmonlee. This is scary. Well, for Marowak. Look at that, Marowak looks all majestic AF right here. All right, Brick Break, Shadow Punch. There we go, and wow. So that was a big, uh, <laughs> that was a big no-no. And uh, let's go with Shocker right here. Switching up our Pokemon. We're gonna fly Shockway onto this guy. And there we go, that's one. Shockway on to do, and there we go. That's right, Shocker Shocker does all the work right here. So there we go, guys. Defeated the Crushkin. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle one last trainer right here. You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. I'll give it a go. Yeah, I look gentle, if you have, you know. Okay, so here we are taking on Picnicker Becky, and she is coming out with her Pikachu. This should be easy. I'm going to be gentle myself. Here comes a quick attack, and this Bone Ring right here hits Pikachu. 
And that's the end of the game right there. <laughs> okay, alrighty, look at that. Bones kicking some butt. And oh, she's coming out with a Raichu. Okay, alright. Alright, Raichu. Time to get this bone whip or bone <laughs> this bone meringue right here. I swear to god, Bones looks majestic uh, majestic AF standing like that. And here comes another tail whip. We better hit this Pokemon or else, yeah. Good god! Damn it! Okay. We gotta go with Shocker. And we gotta revive our Pokemon. Jesus criminy. Alrighty. Gotta love this whole thing right here. Yeah, we're to... Yeah, okay. So, let's go with a Dig Attack. Dig Attack again. And just like that, we have defeated Raichu. How did we get paralyzed? I don't know. Okay, so... We're done with that. Here we are back in round 14. Okay. So we're at the home stretch right here. And we're going to be taking on the twins. Oh my god. I'm telling you this right now, guys. The the raw footage right here is going to say at least an hour long with doing all these uh these walkthroughs right now. Well, with this one right here. It, how long does it take me to actually finish this whole thing up? It usually takes me about 20 minutes because because oh wow that was a critical hit <laughs> it usually takes me 20 minutes depending on what happens onto the episode special episodes such as this where it takes about an hour long it, yeah it's like 20 to 30 minutes edit them I have to find the specific points to where I actually transition on and off that's why I, like when I transition off I don't speak that's the indicator right there and it's usually a, it's usually a process right there just to get all these uh, these episodes out. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a paralysis heal onto Shocker right here. And yeah, again, home stretch. This yeah, this, this whole ep like this whole area right here usually takes about two episodes long, and it's it's quite annoying. All right, here we go. Hey kid, come on. I just got off the. Uh, I just got uh, these off some loser. Hmm. So if I beat you, you better give me that. Probably. Okay. So here we go. Taking on Ernest, and he does have five Pokemon. You guys see this? That's a lot of Pokemon that we have to take on, and a lot of poisonings. This is getting on my case. So here we go. Here we go, and we're gonna take on a Weezing, and we're poisoned yet again. Good gravy. Okay. Fury attack for the win. And we're gonna fly. How many Pokemon do I need to get poisoned? Seriously. And here comes a mirror move. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take away Leer. And we're gonna take on Grammar right here. So let's go straight for Bones. Bone Merang. That does the trick, and we have defeated Ernst. Ernest or whatever his name is. Okay. Again. In this type of situation, it would be at least two to three episodes, guys. And I know some of you guys have been very vocal about how, like, I go piece by piece, day by day, and you guys want to see a little bit more. This is one of the changes, like I said, that, you know, was going to happen eventually coming into 2023. So, yeah. And we got one more potion, so better use it wisely, because we got, like, six trainers left, I guess. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. Hmm, okay, but if you lose, you better fork over all your cash. So, here we go, digging on Alex, coming out with three Pokemon, and of course we can't use anything, so let's go straight for smoke right here, that sludge attack won't do anything, do it again, and Nightshade does it, here we go, going into Bones, Bone Meringue, and just like that, he's coming out with a Weezing, so let's go straight to smoke yet again, Nightshade, 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 there we go, and that's how you win it. Okay. <laughs> it can't be true. Yes, we're getting a lot of money off of this one right here. And yes, we're getting into the beauty portion right here where now they're coming out with grass type Pokemon. Again, this whole area right here, or this whole episode, is a very, very good, like, you know, indicator of where you can actually train before Koga, before Sabrina, and all that crud. And she has a Pidgeotto, so let's go straight to Shocker, Shockwave. Wigglytuff. Okay, so this is a bones kind of affair. There we go. Brick break for the win. And it's finally reached level 30. 
Yes, sir. Yes, I look so cute, but yes, I can kick some butt. Yes, okay. Here we go. I raised Pokemon for protection because I live alone. Hmm, that is that is good. Imagine waking up to like somebody roasted up because you know your Charizard decided to <laughs> use flamethrower just right there and then. And well, we're taking on the Bulbasaur. Okay, so we're getting to that portion where you know grass types are the norm. And well, let's go right ahead, do this again, and just like that, we have defeated Olivia. Yes, or a, a you know a trainer comes in poison just because you know your Bulbasaur does something. Alright, I just got some Pokemon in trades. Can I try them out on you? Sure. Okay, so here we go, taking on Picnicker Kendra. And she will be coming out with her gloom. Let's go with Bones. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out to Tornado. Of course, we're going to fall asleep. We're going to take this sleep. And there we go, Fly Attack does it. And she's coming out with her Oddish. And we're going to finish it off right here. And Tornado kicks some butt, take some names, say hello, or say goodbye to Kendra right there. God dang, that's a lot of trainers. Oh, come on. Jeez, man, how many trainers do we need to actually battle? It's the same It's the same complaint every single time, guys. Hmm, birds are shivering. You're good, aren't you? Yes, I am. And I'm fast, so watch how fast it's going to be. Here we go, take it on Bird Keeper Chester. And he's coming out with their Dodrio, so... Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Let's go straight to Sparky. Give it a little love right there. And continue on right there. And just like that, we have defeated Chester. Chester. <laughs> oh, man. There are so many trainers right here. Good gravy. Oh, man. And let's see. One, two. Yeah, two more trainers left. God, it's like... Never ends. When I whistle, I can summon bird Pokemon. Oh, yeah? But when I fart, I summon a Ghastly. Here we go. Take it on Bird Keeper. Keeper Edwin, and he's coming with his Pidgeotto. We're going to Thundershock it. Keep on going. Thunder's Bolted, I should say. Yes, no love for this bird Pokemon. There we go. And yes, we have defeated Edwin. <laughs> okay, so we got one more trainer. Better switch out her Pokemon before she actually, like, attacks us. Let's go with Smoke. Talk to her. Want to play with my Pokemon? No. Because there's a lot of Pokemon trainers out here. Holy crud. Alright, so here we are taking on Yasmin. And she's coming out with her Bell Sprout right here. And this should be one easy battle, I, I, I would assume. But look at this. Paralysis hits us. And we win. So let's go right ahead and switch out to a Pokemon that's logical to this. And we're gonna fly. There we go. Tangela. And fly again. And there we go. We have defeated it. And. Tornado grows to level 33. And just like that, we have defeated Yasmin. I was too impatient. Yes, you were. Whew. Okay, so that... God dang, that's a lot of trainers right there, guys. So, after defeating everybody from all them routes, you can come in here towards the entranceway of Fuchsia City and go straight up here. Now, this is the reason why we up to our Pokédex because we need to talk to this individual. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokédex has complete data on 50 Pokémon species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. And Professor Oak has entrusted me with the experience share for you. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 50 kinds of Pokémon? Yes, I have. I have caught 59. And there you go, guys. That is how you get the experience share. We're getting 50 friggin' Pokemon here in Leaf Green and Fire Red. So, the experience share is an item that to be held by a Pokemon. The Pokemon will receive a share of the experience points without having a, a to battle. Which is true. And, take a look at this. Go into the binoculars, there's a small island in the horizon. Take a look at this one. A large shining bird is flying towards the sea. And, that is an Articuno, so that will be filled into your Pokedex right there. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. So here we are guys, Route 15, going into Fuchsia City, and in the next episode, we're going to be doing a lot, guys, and I mean a lot, a lot, because we're going to be battling, we're going to be grabbing some Pokemon, we're going to be doing so many things, it is a stupid and all that stuff. 
Other than that, I hope you guys had a fun time watching this episode. Again, every single one of these adventures or, you know, those little tidbits going in here are in chapters. So if you guys want to skip through and watch some different stuff, yes, it's right down there on the description how to get to these tidbits and all that. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. If you guys want to see a little bit more, you know, later on to this week, just make sure to comment down below, like this whole thing and all that stuff. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode as we go through Fuchsia City. See you guys.